I'll try to keep this as brief as possible. Um, what we're doing here is going to add the Malian M320 to the list of printers. It's actually not going to be in the list, but we're going to add, add it so it's a drop down of the custom list. So the easiest way would be to go right here in the drop down. There's also the settings menu. There's something in there you can get to this same dialog box. For now, we're going to select here. Go to add printer. Go to add non-network printer. And scroll down. We can go, as you can see, down in the Malian, under the Malian uh, printers. We do not have the M320, only the M180 and the M200. Um, the M200 is similar to what the printer we're going to be adding. We're going to add the model that Malian manufactures for model price, which is they do this one, this one, and the Mini Delta for model price. We're going to select the model price, select Mini V2 E3D. Change the printer name if you don't have to, but I'm going to. Malian M320. Add. There's only a few settings we're going to change here. It's the 150, so the build dimensions from 120 to 150. Rectangular, we want to keep all that. Origin at center is correct, it's unchecked because it's not at center. Heated build volume, no. Heated bed, yes. Extruder, just want to verify the nozzle size is 0.4. Compatible material diameter is 1.75. So back to the printer setting, there's two settings in this NG code that we want to get rid of. We want to get rid of this G4, the dwell command. Or pause, well, it's not pause, it's dwell, waits. And we want to get the line directly below that, which is M107, to turn the fan off at the end of the print. Um, that will happen when the temperature drops below 50 degrees. That's built into the firmware. So that is just that'll just cause problems um, if we leave it in there. It's not a big deal, it'll just you have to I'm gonna get rid of it. So go to next, and from there, that's it. You just select as normal your layer heights. Um, will look a little different maybe from what you're used to due to the threaded rod size, but this is correct. You want to leave that like that and add your model and print from there.